Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to show you a project I've done using uh, Louisa's new kit, uh, it's not a cool. <laughs> it's a real pretty uh, sea and uh, shells and little sea critters and water. So you got boards and this is a real pretty one here, little uh, starfishes and little fishies and seashells. In the beach. This is like a map with the mermaid and everything in it and lighthouses and seagulls. And that's the uh, regular sheets of paper backgrounds that you get. And then I also printed off turn it this way, some other sheets that you get in the kit. This is the postcard set of the bingo cards. And these are the cutouts. So you get all these that goes with it also. They're the cool, little cute crabby. <laughs> so they all come with a kit. And obviously they're not cut up, so I didn't use them. <laughs> but I made a, a mini album and I'll be showing it to you shortly. And uh, it's a very simple one. I made it um, for my husband. These are the envelope ones that you just fold up and you can put the envelopes in and make tags to go in with them. And just a couple extra little of the cutouts. So that is the kit. I'll leave a link down below uh, so you can go check it out. And what I've done with the mini album is I used uh, these. This is the uh, five by seven and these are the cards and uh, the envelopes that go with. and. What I did is just seal this with some tape, glued down the other side, cut off one side, some of the pages are cut up both sides, and just bound it together, and then I'll show you when I get to the mini. Uh, of course, I used my favorite, gathered twigs to distress everything. I used um, this t tool here to distress the um, burlap. And I got this at Hobby Lobby, and this is what I used for the binding, and I uh, distressed the edges here. This is like um, glued together, the lace is on top of the burlap, and um, it's there pretty good. And I had to kind of melt it a little bit and then fray it to get the frayed look that I have on the mini. So, here it is. And this is the cover. Uh, it's just a, whoops, sorry. A chipboard covered with her paper. This is the uh, the burlap and I kind of melted the uh, lace on it here and gave it the fuzzy frayed edges here. Uh, we have a uh, angelfish here done in kind of the, um, the brass look. This piece and this piece I got at Joann's. They come in a set. This little piece here uh, came in a set of little um, sea critters that I got at Hobby Lobby. These are Joann's. This I got at a um, second-hand store. I don't know if it was a necklace. There is a little hole up here in his fin that you could attach him on, but I got uh, these and some goldfish that I had uh, previously made a um, gumball fish tank for my husband, and this is going to go with it. We have some little pearls for bubbles that come up here. Behind the um, fishy here we have some uh, the uh, cheesecloth that I have squashed in, uh, put it down with some matte medium, and then painted it with some pearlized paint. And got the uh, cover back this way, and this is the back of it. And I put it down here too. And we will open it up. Now I kept it very simple because uh, my husband had just had a birthday and we took the whole family down to the Oregon coast and he's going to fill this up with all the pictures from that. And that beautiful paper. Now these um, papers, what I do with them, they come, so this one here is this piece. And what I did was I cut a piece off here and then I could place up here for the next page and a piece here. So I could use uh, this piece four times in a different arrangement. So it worked out real well for this. 
So that's the inside of the cover. And this is the first page. And these measure, sorry about that. It's a little over seven, seven and a quarter by um, five for the pages. So you can put a seven by five photo on it. And what we're gonna do, this is actually one of the pictures. I just printed it on cardstock and uh, it's at a four by six. And those are the size I'm going to use so you can still see the paper on the outside kind of framing it. So that's page number one and it flips over and here's her cute little seagull and the shells and it's kind of like on a burlap. And then this is the first card. So we'll have a three page spread here so you can put the pictures on all three. And this is where the card part comes in. So you have the two here, one here and one here. And it fits in the envelope part. <laughs> so that's that page. And then we have her kind of blue page with the lighthouses and the anchors. This is the page I used on the front cover. And then we have stamps, a little boat. Pages are just gorgeous the way she did these. So it's kind of the bluish green color there. And in here we have um, two cards that are put in. So you have the two pages here and then it folds out to a four page spread. Here's the beautiful boat, the seagulls. It's actually one page just cut up in different ways to make it look like that. And then the green on the side, it's kind of greenish blue. And each one of these folds out. This is the gorgeous wood grain she has. And then this is the brown one. So she has it also in blue and brown. And then it just slides back in. And then on this one, we have, it's the uh, plain paper background for this. On this one, the blue, and then the maps on the side. And then it slides right back in. So that's the center. And then this is the back part, the next page. And this page, oh, this is the same one as the, um, it's this one up here. It's got the little coral pieces in it. And I think uh, I haven't showed you that yet in the book. <laughs> I did have to do some repeating because I didn't have enough pages that were different. This is the uh, green again, and the page that flips. And we have the lighthouse here, the map here folds out, cool map here. Okay. Sorry about the noises you're hearing outside. We're having our fence refixed. <clears throat> refixed? I should say it's just getting fixed. <laughs> Here's the last page. That's the travel page with the map, and the uh, last piece is the wood, and then the back. So that is the little mini that I made, and I think he's really going to enjoy having this. I said it's a uh, seven by five. Fit the pictures perfect. So this is uh, my DT project for Louisa. Thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Bye.